up YouTube, it's been a while, I've been gone, and I've been playtesting this deck that I'm planning on running today, uh, this Saturday at my regionals, um, shortly after I'll be doing a deck profile of the second deck that I'm, that I might be using, but anyway, let's get into this, this is Light Race Warns, version 1, had a lot of help from my friends and my locals, and it runs pretty good so far, how I like it, anyway, BLS, two card troopers, one Celestia, two Valors, one Aaron, one Garroth, one Gores, Honest, Jane, three Judgment Dragons, Light Raid Daedalus. He's pretty good. He gets rid of spell cards and he pops two cards on the field. Well, up two, two, two cards in the field, so just to be safe, you could just do something like pop one card so that way you can avoid Starlight or the Huge Revolution. Well, it won't avoid Huge Revolution, but it'll avoid Starlight, so. Uh, Light Raid Diabolos. Diabolos is, he's kind of wishy-washy. That's why I'm running one of him. He, uh, like, if it's a, if it's a face-down monster, you're great. If it's a face-down spell or trap, it's kind of iffy. That's why he's at one. He's on the limit of just being sighted right now. Um, anyway. Two Light Ray Gear Freed. He is like a walking eight star beautiful warrior Shein. Um I'm sorry, I don't I, th I think it might seem like I like this card a little bit too much. But is like for his effect to activate and resolve, it has to be only warriors on the field. He's a warrior, Jane's a warrior, Garrett's a warrior, Aaron's a warrior. I don't think I'm running short. BLS, Necrogardna. Yeah, I'm definitely not running short. But uh his effect is um, it's a quick effect activated on either player's turn. You you go ahead and you banish one warrior from your graveyard, and he negates it. It's pretty good, in my opinion. I like it. To Lumina, of course. To Lila. To Necrogardna. To Rikos. To Trags. And Wolf. I'm only running one Wolf because I found that at three... It's kind of, I draw it too much, and I don't really like that. At two, I still kind of drew it a little bit too much, and now at one, it's perfect. On to the spells. One charge, one dark hole, one heavy storm, one monster reborn, two monster reincarnations. If you have another ultimate, please send me a tell, whatever. Hit me up on Dueling Network, Redhawk83, all one word. Um, Pot of Avarice. Reinforcement of the Army, and a tech card, Seal of Calcos. This card works with Light Ray Daedalus. I checked the rulings on it um, because it is the game mechanic of destroying it um, does activate, but Seal of Calcos effect activates to save it. You still get Light Ray Daedalus' effect off, so even if they're not using a, a field spell card, you still have one. And then finally, three solar recharges to round out the deck to eight uh, to 42. Um, I like this deck so far. It's pretty much just bait out your opponent's warnings, solemn judgments, bottomlesses, things like that, while you just keep dropping boss monster after boss monster after boss monster. And it's not really too much they can do about it once Gearfried gets on the board, unless it's a counter trap. So, um, anyway, this was the deck profile. Hopefully you guys like it, and the next deck profile that I'll be uploading, hopefully today before I go to work.